Hey y'all, Joe coming at you tonight, Southern Coast of Cooking. We're going to be cooking, whipping up something tonight. We're going to try something else from my friends over at Louisiana. Okay, fish fry products. Bringing the taste of Louisiana home with their gum, gumbo base. Okay, and this is how you can make a quick gumbo at home. So you get down on a weeknight, you know, we'll have to make a roux, do all that stuff. I make this quick gumbo, you can get this base. Let me tell you about the steps here, basically. Uh, it says in a four quart uh, pot, combine two quarts of cold water, chicken stock, and this Louisiana fish, uh, fish fry gumbo base. Stir well and bring to a bowl. After it comes to the bowl, it says add two to three pounds of thoroughly cooked chicken and or sausage. Cover, bring to a second bowl, reduce heat, and simmer 15 minutes. That's for a chicken and sausage gumbo, okay? And it says for a seafood gumbo, combine two quarts, uh, to, no, uh, in a four quart pot, combine two quarts of cold water, chicken stock, Louisiana fish fry gumbo base, stir well, bring to a bowl, add two pounds seafood, cover, uh, second bowl, three to four minutes, remove from heat, add oysters if you want this time, ensure uh, seafood is cooked thoroughly, serve over rice and enjoy. I'm gonna do a combo combination. Down here, we like a down home gumbo sometimes. It's gonna be chicken, sausage, and shrimp. All right, so I'm gonna use kind of the combination of these two recipes. And of course, you can kick it up whatever you want to throw in a gumbo. That's all about putting the good mixings in there. You wanna put some okra in there, you wanna put this, that, and other. I'm gonna put some trini in there first, okay? Then we'll go with some sausage, some chicken, and some shrimp. All right, it's gonna be real, real good. Y'all follow with us. It's going to be a quick whip up gumbo you can do at your own house. You ain't got to have no big skill to do this. You know, you know just easy peasy. So the first thing I did is I fried up some sausage. So I'm going to do it. Now what we want to do, we'll take the oil from that sausage. Just a little bit of oil there. Look at that good blonde. I'm going to dump a little bit of this oil out. We'll need quite that much. Maybe leave a couple tablespoons in there. Got that good blonde there on the bottom of the pot. That's where the flavor is hidden. I'm going to take some trim. You don't know what that is? Bell pepper, onion, celery, a little bit of parsley in this. We're going to put that in there and we're going to let it cook in this, that grease from my sausage. All right? You can put as, as much or as little as you like. That's what we're going to do. We're going to saute this down until it gets nice and soft. So now we got the trendy where we want it to be. Well, if that takes the longest time out of any of this, just cooking this down. Of course, this is optional, but I, I like this in my gumbo. All right, so I've got that cooked down. I'm going to turn the heat off with it. I'm going to turn you over here to uh, what we're going to do to the mix. Well, here I got some shrimp stock. Or not some shrimp stock. Well, you use shrimp stock, that'd be great, but some, some chicken stock and uh, a little bit of water there. Kind of mix. I'm gonna throw this package in here. It's a mix with cold water. I mean, I'm actually little thing here. And I'm actually doing two bags because I'm not sure how much it's gonna take just with all the stuff that I've got. So you know, you could always not use it all. That's fine. Go ahead and stir that one in. We'll pour the second one in. It's about a gallon of water here for these. Two packs. Let's stir that in. All right. I just put my sauce back in there for a second. Turn this on about five mid heat medium. Stir that back in there. So you get that kind of hot, right? All that goodness, y'all. Looks magnificent. Smells magnificent as well. What y'all can smell this. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna get that liquid into here. All right. As soon as that starts to sizzle, give it just a minute and pour the liquid in. That shouldn't be long, man. I hear it coming up sizzling out. All right, let me stir my liquid one more time. Stir it over here. Come over here and pour it in. Let me go ahead and crank the heat up to high now. Okay. Pull about that much in because remember, use about three quarters of it. You gotta have room for my, sh my shrimp and my chicken. 
So we're going to bring this back up to a bowl. I'm not worried about sausage overcooking, really. Let that come to kind of a bowl. Then we're going to get in there with some, some chicken. So let's check this. I think it just comes to a bowl. Look at that. Look how thick it is. That's wonderful. That's what we want to see. See, that's what a good roux would do to it. But it's still got some beautiful, beautiful color. But I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Now I've got a rotisserie chicken. I just shred up about half a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to get this off in here. This is going to add a little bit of, of depth of flavor. This rotisserie chicken, I like that. Oh, shoot. Now, see how I kind of bring it up to keep it to a bowl? Going in with some shrimp, y'all. I have got about two pounds of gold shrimp. Okay? I'm going to put those in there. They're frozen. Let's hope they fit. There they go. See this wild caught gold shrimp. It's Big Easy Foods. It's a U.S. caught. I don't got uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, and all that. By American, okay. And look, we're gonna let all this simmer. Do shrimp in there, and that shrimp. See how thick that gumbo is now. What's gonna happen is the shrimp are gonna release a lot of juice as they cook, and it won't take them long to cook either, y'all. So I put the shrimp in there, the chicken in there, everything just like that. You know, it's up to. I'm gonna turn up the fire down to low and let this simmer like that y'all it's gonna be some good gumbo good eating all right y'all let me show you what i got going here i'm letting this pot simmer while i'm cooking my rice just kind of on low is uh is the rice cooks y'all that's what i'm looking for and let me tell you a little something about cooking the shrimp and the gumbo and stuff like that you know the directions call for and it'd be very good if you just threw those shrimp in there when it was boiling i mean a rolling bowl I didn't have that big of a pot tonight. And then you got them to where you just let them come up to a bowl, cut it off, let it sit for about three or four minutes, serve them a shrimp and be great, kind of a fast cook. What I grew up eating though is more of a slow cook gumbo. Grandma put the shrimp in, the crabs, all that kind of stuff. It's simmer. Everybody, the families around were talking, all that kind of thing. The shrimp would get cooked and they shrink up a little bit and get kind of crumbly. Some people might call that a little overcooked. That's just how I was used to having shrimp in my gumbo. So that's why I do a little bit of a slower cook once I get the shrimp in there and turn it down low. Again, follow the instructions directly on a package of the Louisiana Fish Fry Products bowl. And they will tell you, put them in there in a rolling bowl, let it boil, come back to a bowl, and let it sit off the heat for a couple minutes, and that's just fine. The shrimp will be wonderful, plumper, juicy. I'm just doing it the my traditional way of cooking the shrimp in there so i just want to clear that up for y'all in case you were wondering why i said i've got it simmering here while i cut the rice so that's that we're about to have this uh, gumbo here shortly can't wait to try it. So i'm still waiting on my rice to cook but i tell you what this gumbo it's good to go shrimp are just cooked like i like them i can't get over all the seasoning and the flavor in this gumbo mix I was worried about having to add some, you know, some garlic and all that kind of stuff. Man, I put in here, look at all those green little tiny things. Not the, the uh, cell that I put in there, but I mean, there's just flavor. All kind of stuff in here. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and turn this off. And I'll let this keep, this residual heat I put the lid on from the, uh, from the cast iron pot here. The croissant. And oh yeah, look at that chicken on oh, that chicken skin. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Let's go ahead and let's put that on there. Let that get all nice and we'll wait for the rice to get done. Oh yeah, then we're gonna make us a bowl, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be good. Alright, y'all, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Looks absolutely wonderful. Let's just dig down the bottom, get all the goodness. Put that over here in the bowl. Oh yeah. Shrimp. Mmm. Salsiche. That's good right there. And we can put some rice on it. Hold on a second. Alright, y'all ready? Let's give this a try right here. Mmm. 
Look, you gotta get you a good gumbo spoon. A lot of people don't know about this. See how that round color, the shaped spoon? We got one in the whole house. But that's my gumbo spoon. Get a little piece of rice right here. A little shrimp, look at that. A little shrimp, a little piece of chicken, a little juice. Love one. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. He got some flavor for sure. I am surprised. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm going to get you a bite. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's some good stuff. Oh yeah. You want some easy wheat night gumbo or something? Get you some of this mix right here. Find your local grocery, probably Walmart, things like that. I can put a link in the description box. Thank y'all so much for following me. And uh, watch my video. See me over there on Instagram as well. Southern Coast of Cooking. And I appreciate every one of y'all. And again, please like my videos, sub my channel, and God bless y'all. Have a good one. Thanks again. Let me get back to this gumbo. Boy, I tell y'all what. Mm, I got some eating to do.